everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to the Citizen Challenge. Have our one of our regular features, our little family-friendly quiz on uh, a couple of recent City games. So today we're going to look at uh, yeah Leicester City, a uh, good win, third of April, and of course Borussia Dortmund, uh, a win. Um, yeah. Could have been worse on the 6th of April. So I'm going to have a look back on that with uh, 10 questions on each. Just for fun, some spot the balls, uh, guess the players, uh, some some bit of, bit of fun. And you can do this uh, obviously on your own or you can do it obviously if you've got any mates. Have a bit of a laugh, have a bit of a drinking competition. See if you get to questions right, stuff like that. You can do what you want with it anyway. So please enjoy me. Uh, that was the week that was. We look back at these two games. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification. All these vlogs are coming out. Of course, I do City Past, City Present, City Magazine vlogs, City Quizzes like this, uh, City Book Clubs, uh, lots and lots of City stuff. And any City supporting friends, if you can point them in my direction, I'd be very grateful. And you will see on the playlist some stuff on film and TV as well. So if you ever want a break from football, I think we all do, and I certainly do. I mean, it's, it's wall to wall, isn't it? Uh, work and football. But uh, I throw the odd TV and film stuff in, so I might film and tv channel with reviews and information vlogs on there as well so if that's of any interest please have a look at that or if you know someone who might be interested please point them in my direction that would be fantastic and if you need any followers or friends on Facebook and Twitter, just check the links. Uh, I do check every two or three days and follow and friend everyone back on there. And please, any all your comments about these games, about the quizzes or whatever, anything anything I don't do you'd like to see in the quizzes. I mean, I'm looking at things like anagrams and stuff like that, but obviously it's, it's, it has to be specific to the to the game, doesn't it? So I might have to find an anagram maker or stuff for certain things. So we'll have a look. Anything you anything you want anyway. These these are just a bit of fun. Obviously they come out weekly because obviously that's uh, we're playing two games a week these days. So anyway, you can answer these questions. You can pause the pause the vlog or you can answer them in real time. I'll leave a bit of a gap anyway so you can answer them there. And please, uh, if you can't give us a comment, just give us a thumbs up. It's nice to uh, nice to get views. Nice to be appreciated though. If you can give us a little thumbs up if you enjoy what we do. Right on to the this was that was the week that was Leicester and Borussia Dortmund. Yep. Yeah, so first of all, question one. There we go. On there. This is also about the Leicester game, of course. Uh, we've got a bit of shirt maths here, haven't we? So. You've got six players on there, uh, four City players and two Leicester players. So can you tell me, if you had all the shirt numbers up of the players, what number do we get to? Um, I was going to give you a hint at that one. It used to be a bus I used to get from Bellevue a lot. But uh, yeah, that'll, that'll help out if you're struggling. But uh, if you get anywhere near it anyway, that'll, get, that'll give you an idea. So what number do we get to if you had all, all those six players' shirt numbers up? That's question one. Question two, I need a spot on answer here. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, uh, if you're a year out tough, I need the season. I need the season, so whether it's like season 10 or 11 or, or 58, 59 or whatever it is. But anyway, I want the season that actually Leicester won the Premier League title. It seems a long, long time. It seems certainly longer ago than, than this uh, answer. But uh, what season did they actually win? So which season was it that Leicester won their Premier League title? Worth a guess if you don't know. I probably would have forgot that one. I probably would have guessed incorrectly on that one. And question three, there we go. Yeah, who that? Who's that? Who's that on the image there? Who's who's hiding behind the silly face? Quite easy. Sometimes you look for sort of tattoos or stuff like that if you're struggling, can't you? So just have a good look at that one. But anyway, who who that? Who's that guy there? Question four. Before it came became the King Power Stadium. Nice, easy one. Uh, what was the stadium called? So before King Power, what was it? What was the Leicester Stadium called before then? Nice, easy one. Question five. There we go. We've got to spot the ball there as uh, Jesus slides in. But uh, where's the ball? Where's he put the ball? Is it A, B, C or D? Have a look at that. Not always the obvious place, is it? But uh, where do you think he's put it? Question six. Here we go. Question six. Uh, Sergio has failed to score at three current away grounds. Uh, as at as at I'm recording this, which is the sixth of April, twenty twenty one. He's failed. He's 
failed to score at the King Power, which obviously he still failed to score at. Uh, but for two points, or an extra, an extra point this question, for two points, name the other two grounds where he's failed to score in his time. So there's another two grounds. So if you get one of those right, you get one. If you don't get any, you get zilch. If you get both, you get two points. So have a think on that one. So which ground has Sergio failed to score? Is say uh, King Power was one, or Walkers, or whichever machination it was. I think it's just been the King Power since he's been with us, but I think it probably was Walkers, wasn't it, back in the day? But there's another couple of grounds, so name the grounds. Question seven, there we go. We've got not a missing headline round, word in the headline round. It's a missing missing word in the tweet round, this one. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We've got well-earned victory with a great showing from the whole team. Now we'll get to prepare for Tuesday and thank you all for your messages and... So what's he saying? Missing word in the tweet round there. Well-earned victory with a great showing from the whole team. Now we're getting ready for Tuesday and thank you all for your messages and something. So what's the missing word in the player's tweet there? Question eight. Uh, I like, quite like this one. A lot of people like this one. Uh, who links Leicester and City? He was at City uh, for season 81-82. And he was at Leicester between 95 and 2000. So who links Leicester and Manchester City? So who is it? City. He was at City 81-82 and at Leicester 95 to 2000. So he's either very young, very young at City and went on to play very old at Leicester or it's something to do with a player and perhaps a coach or a physio. Who knows? It could be a physio. Yeah, that's a good I have to think up, think up some physios. So who is it? Who links the two clubs? Question nine. Yeah, there's the teams. Uh, I've just sort of uh, took out a couple of players. Who's who's missing from the starting eleven? And who's missing off the subs bench, obviously, against Leicester City. So who's missing? Always a bit harder with the further back. This is a bit further back in time. It might be easier with the uh, Dortmund one, of course. But uh, that's the Leicester game. Who's missing from the start in 11? And who's missing from the bench? Question 10. A little bit of knowledge on Leicester needed here. Leicester's, Leicester's official away kit, uh, second kit, is maroon. Red or white? There we go. Is it uh, which one of those is it? Is it maroon, red, or white? The away kit. So the second kit, not the third kit, just the second kit. Like our second kit, obviously, is the dark number, isn't it? And the paisley is the third. So Leicester's official second kit is either maroon, red, or white. Which was it? which one is it? There you go, the first 10 questions, there's 12 points possible from that. So let's see how you do. We've got a wild card question now, so there's 21 questions. This is a wild card, I'll bring back one of your favourites. It'll be coming up on screen. You are the ref, of course, Mr Trevelyan and Hackett game. Fantastic game. Here's the question, here we go. How good are you at a ref as being a referee? Uh, a desperate striker clearly attempts to knock a cross into the goal using his hand, but his swipe misses the ball. However, the ball instantly deflects off a defender onto the striker's knee and into the net. Opponents are outraged. What do you do now? Do you allow the goal? Um, cheating bugger, isn't it? Uh, B. Award a free kick for attempting to handle the ball. Or C. Stop play and caution the player for attempting to handle the ball. So, there you go. So, obviously, he's... Uh, he swipe misses the ball, however the ball instantly deflects off the defender onto the striker's knee uh, into the net. Opponents are outraged, what now? So allow the goal, award the free kick for attempting to handle the ball or C, stop play and caution the player for attempting to handle the ball. So what would you do in that situation? Interesting one, that's a sort of bit of an either or on that, isn't it? That's your question 11, you are the ref. So there's 13 points up to now as we get on to the last 10 questions on City versus Borussia Dortmund, of course. Right, here we go, question 12. We played Dortmund, of course, back in 2012-13 uh, with Mancini in charge at the Etihad. A 1-1 draw, but who scored the City goal that night? I was there to witness it. 1-1 draw, who scored the City goal? Question 13, there you go. Who's missing? I've, I've took someone off at the end as the guys were lining up, obviously, for the Champions League against Dortmund. But who's missing from that image? There's only 10 guys there. Who's missing? I 
I've expunged him. I took him out of history. Question 14. Here we go. Dortmund have a new manager lined up uh, for the summer. Very strange situation. Uh, well known to City. well known to me. I sort of know him now. I've done a bit, on, bit of work on him. Um, who is it? For an extra point, what club is in charge of at the moment? So who is it and who does he currently manage? So who is Dortmund's new manager? Question 15. Here we go. Another spot the ball up there. So it's a bit of uh, a bit of a um, coming together of Mr. Stones and Harlan there. But uh, yeah, where's the ball? Is it A, B, C or D? I don't think he knocked stones on his bum like he did to Ruben, did he? But uh, there you go. Spot the ball. Where is it? A, B, C or D? All right, Pep was interviewed. Question 16. Here we go. Question 16. After the game, uh, Pep was interviewed. About who or whom? Don't know which English is good here. About whom did Pep say after the game? In the last 30 minutes, he was our threat. So who, did he, who was he speaking about? I don't think it was Edison. There's a clue. Uh, question 16 about whom did Pep say after the game in interview in the last 30 minutes he was our threat question 16 Question 17, yeah, according to Wikipedia, so obviously um, if you know your stuff, don't go looking because you get the answers at the end and that defeats the whole object, doesn't it? According to Wikipedia, within an inch or within 10 millimetres how tall are these two boyhood City fans you've got on the screen there? So according to Wikipedia, it's worth a guess. There's a couple of points up for grabs, obviously, uh, if you get both right. So within an inch or 10 millimetres, how tall are these two boyhood City fans? They are these boys obviously sharing memories of posters they had on the wall and stuff like that. And Would you remember his dad, Phil? I don't know, probably, would he? Yeah, of course, yeah, I think he would. I've never really thought about it. Anyway, height. You can give it me and me. I'll give you the. I'll give you the options. I'll give you the metre height, and of course, I'll give you the feet and inch height as well. But uh, so there you go. See how close you can get with that one. That's question seventeen. Question eighteen. Uh, true or false? Here we go. True or false? Question. Here we go. Uh, the number nine on the German badge is in honour of Norbert Dickel, a household name in Dortmund. The former striker achieved legendary status with his two goals in the 1989 Cup final against Bremen. 4-1 it finished. So, yeah, true or false, the number nine is in honour of Norbert Dickel. There's a name. Old Nobby Dickel. We all know Nobby Dickel, don't we? He's a, well, not, not a household name over here, is he? But obviously he is in Dortmund, so there you go. I'm not lying about that. That's true. But true or false, the number nine is in honour of him. Is that true or false? And question 19, there you go, yeah, another line-up there, another starts in 11 and the subs bench. Uh, so which two guys are missing? So who's who's tipexed out on there? Who's tipexed out on the uh, starting line-up and the subs bench against Dortmund? Question 20, there we go, you know the sponsors, it's on the shirt, I always always think of Evo Stick when I see the shirts of uh, Dortmund, but obviously it's not, is it? it's Evo Nick, Evo or Evo Nick, or however way they pronounce it, of course, and the names on the shirts of uh, Borussia Dortmund, but who or what are they, what is it, What, what is, what's the firm, so you don't go looking it up, Just you can have a guess if you don't know, but uh, what are they, what the names on the shirts, who are they sponsored by, what are they, I mean, we know what we were sponsored by, and uh, I'll give you a clue. It's not enough to do with the Evo stick, so there you go. But um, I think even the, even the uh, lettering's similar, isn't it? I don't know. I just I just get that impression every time I see it. But uh, there you go. I'm miles away. So what are they? Who are who or what are they? I'll give you a little bit of leeway with the answer there, as long as you're within the right ball court. I'll I'll let you off with that one. And the last question. Go on to the last question of the quiz. Another missing word in the tweet round. No headlines this week, just missing words in the tweets. Uh, Zach Steffen, um, this time. Only blank in the tie, but huge. So that's Zach Steffen. It's only blank in the tie, but huge. So what's Zach Steffen? What's the missing word? Only blank 
in the tie but huge so what's it what's he saying it may be a hyphenated word there you are I'll just give give you a little bit of a clue right so only points is that you've got potential there i think there's a two point answer there isn't there uh 13 let me have a look yeah i think it's 24 points up for grabs so uh 24 points if you get anywhere near that well done let, let me know what you get anyway when you do this i'll give you the answers now right on to the answers here we go shirt maps yeah six players four city players two leicester players oh well, we've got ruben three plus sergio 10 plus gabby nine plus mendy 22 of course plus schmeichel one and tillerman's eight there we go, and it equals, yeah, the number 53 bus from Bellevue. We've met on that many times. And the 54, because I had to get to Trafford Park a lot of times. So the 53 of the 54. But uh, the answer I want here is 53. I'm not, we're not interested in how I got to work in, in the old days. Uh, this is number 53. So that's the number I was looking for. Give yourself a point for that. Uh, question two. Yeah, what season did Leicester win the Premier League title? Well, it was 2015-16. So, yeah, you got, that's, that's what, five years ago? Yep, five years ago. So there you go. When did Leicester win the Premier League? It seems, seems a long time ago. Seems a long, long time ago. Question three. Yeah, who that? Well, there he is. Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, stood up this time. He's not been knocked over by Haaland. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, question three. The answer, of course, is Ruben Diaz. Question four. Before it became the King Power Stadium, what was it called? Of course, well, Mr Big Ears is uh, rabble wants it. Of course, it was called the Walkers Stadium, obviously. Good old Big Ears and Walkers Crisp. So, uh, I do like Walkers Crisp, but I did like Golden Wonder. But they sort of went by the way, didn't they, unfortunately? But, uh, yeah, before it became the King Power, of course, it was... Call can commonly call Walker's Stadium. Five spot the ball, yes, yeah, he slides in, Jesus. Yeah, the, but the ball's at A, isn't it? Uh, uh, not one of the most difficult, but uh, there you go. Uh, do you like do you like the battered balls as well? I like the I like putting those battered balls on for these uh, things. It takes me back to my youth. Uh, everyone, we all had a ball like that when we were kids, uh, in that sort of state of uh, decay. Um, and question six, Sergio, yeah, he's failed to score at three grounds, including the King Power, and the other two, he has got a chance if he does play. Uh, obviously, one of them, Selhurst Park, we still have to play there this season before he leaves us, of course. And the other one was Anfield so he's not going to get much of a chance as well yeah Champions League no no we can't play him there now we've drawn the semis haven't we as well so yeah we can't even get a chance to get a goal there now so obviously the two things I was after was Anfield and Selhurst Park question seven a missing word in the tweet well earned victory with a great showing from a whole team now getting prepared for Tuesday and thank you all for your messages and yes it's quite an hard one that isn't it affection it's not a sort of word that springs to mind does it affection but hey that's that's nice so that's the word I was looking for give yourself a point for that I should give you an extra point for that really sometimes that's quite a hard one but uh, unless you saw the tweet of course and remembered but there you go uh, question 8 of course who links Leicester and Manchester City uh, City 81-82 yeah he spent didn't play that many games for us 20 odd games I'm not too sure now I've had uh, of course, and at ninety-five to two thousand, he was of course a manager at Leicester and a player at City for that one season. Of course, we're talking Martin O'Neill, aren't we, as a player at City and as a manager at Leicester City? Give yourself a give yourself a point if you got that. Well done. Uh, who's missing from the eleven? The subs bench. Yeah, that was quite a hard one. I think that one. Uh, Fernandino was the guy missing from the starting eleven. And of course, good old Nathan Nathan Aki is missing from the subs bench on that one. So. There you go, it was uh, Ferner and Aki. Uh, question 10, yeah, Leicester's official way kit, second kit, is maroon, red or white? Well, there we go, Jemima's, Jemima's modelling it for us. Jemima, Jemima uh, Madison is, is modelling the uh, the kit for us. And of course, it's white, isn't it? Uh, so there you go, the second kit is white. It's not red, uh, it's not maroon, but it's white. And question 11, you are the ref. Yeah, I'll stick the answer on there. And yeah, it's an interesting one, this, wasn't it? Yeah, about the, the handball. So, and it says here, a great question, and it was. Attempting to trip, kick or strike an opponent, opponent is an offence which you must punish. But attempting to handle a ball is not. Uh, so while you may be tempted to disallow the goal for unsporting behaviour, you should have you should follow the law to the letter. He has not handled the ball, so the goal stands, and you don't take any further action. But didn't could may not have put the defender off by doing that with his hand. Uh, 
Yeah, that perhaps may have come into it on gentlemanly conduct or something. I don't know anyway, but that's as far as Mr. Trevelyan and Hack are concerned, that, that's that's the answer anyway. That's the answer on the card. So as I say, a, a lot of these questions and answers on you are the ref. There's a lot of uh, uh, sort of grey areas, a bit 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 uh, a bit unusual, aren't they? So that but anyway, give yourself a point if you got that correct that uh, uh, you should actually take uh, no action and just so the goal stands, just allow the goal because he didn't touch it with his hand even though he attempted to get it. And on to the Dortmund game. Question 12. Yeah, we played Dortmund back in 2012, 2013. Not a great game. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Hart had a, a worldie that day. And yeah, Mr. Balotelli slotted home a penalty uh, quite near the end of the game to give us a 1-1 draw. It didn't mean anything in the end. I think we finished bottom of the group, didn't we? But uh, yeah, so it's, the answer was afterwards Mario Balotelli. We only had a penalty scorer like him at the moment. Uh, question 13. Who's missing from that starting image? Yeah, there he is right on the end. Right on the end, Mr. Kyle walker of course did you get that one that was uh, might, might have been easy might have been hard i'm not too sure with that one would i have got it mm, possibly because obviously i'd picked the team more or less uh, beforehand so i sort of knew i'd pick so that you would have probably come to mind yes yeah, so it's kyle walker anyway question 14 Dortmund have a new manager, of course, lined up for the, for next for the summer. I mean, obviously, strange, isn't it? But we know a bit about him because obviously he's Borussia Mönchengladbach's manager, the team we dispatched in the last round, of course. So it's set Marco Rose is the is the new Dortmund manager. Very strange situation, but that's the answer we were looking for. Question 15, yes, uh, spot the ball, there you go. Uh, yeah, the one I stuck in his face is a bit of a bit of a cheap shot, really. I was hiding his eyes once or so. You've <laughs> uh, a bit mean, sorry about that, but they get too easy, some of these, don't they? But, uh, of course, where's the ball? It's at sea, isn't it? So, if I haven't stuck that one in front of his eyes, it was uh, he was looking directly at it. Not always the case, so uh, it didn't make any difference whether it did or not, but he certainly looked as though it was this time. So, anyway, the answer was C. Sorry about that, I'm, I'm not letting nice summer question 16 about whom did pep say after the game in the last 30 minutes he was our threat yeah he went on well he had said after one nil we took the game to our rhythm and phil had chances yeah and in the last 30 minutes he was our threat so of course he was talking about phil Foden. so phil Foden was the answer i was looking for and here we go here with all the two the tail of the tail of uh, two giants uh, here we go yeah well one giant and one giant footballer but perhaps a little bit smaller yeah according to wikipedia within an inch so yeah um I won't tell you which way around this is. You probably guessed. You probably guessed. Uh, <laughs> One point nine four meters or six foot four. There you go, Mister Mister Harlan. There. One point nine four or six foot four. So if you said one point eight four to two point oh four, you can have that. You can have a point. If you said six foot three or six foot five, you can have that as well. And the tiny little bloke next to him, the other, the other city fan. Uh, One point seven one meters uh, according to Wikipedia. Five foot seven. So there you go. And if you said 1.61 to 1.81 or 5 foot 8 or 5 foot 6 within that range give yourself a point as well so give yourself two points if you got both one if you got one and zilch if you got none question 18 yeah quite old old nobby old old nobby dickle yeah household name in Dortmund. and uh yeah and he is he is a household name and he is a legend uh but no they didn't they didn't uh stick the number nine on the badge to to honor that of course it was it's pointing to the year 1909 the year of the club's foundation of course but uh so that's false it's not true obviously so it's not true it's false obviously so if you said that Give yourself a point. So good old Nobby Dickel. I have to find a little bit more more about Nobby, won't I? I have to find a little bit more about him. I can't I can't do a player in time though. He's, he's not a city player, unfortunately. Uh, question nineteen. Yeah, who's missing from the lineup and the subs bench? Well, yeah, you've uh, a bit easier to remember that one. Am I? Am I a struggle on Mister Trafford on the bench? I always probably struggled on him to be honest. With you. I, would, I would have wrapped my brains trying to figure out who it was. Uh, but John Stones is obviously missing from the start in eleven as well. There you go. And to the penultimate question, Evo Nick, yeah, or Evo Stick, but uh, Evo Nick are the names on the shirts. Yeah, they are a speciality chemicals company headquartered in Essen, the Northern Rhine, Westphalia, Germany. It's the second largest chemical company in Germany. So there you go. So Evo Nick, they are. You know, even if it was Evo Stick, I suppose it's a sort of chemical thing. So if you said a glue company, you can have it. You can have it, even though you're cheating, really. But uh, yeah, chemicals. Anything to do with chemicals. So if you got anywhere near that, give yourself a point. And the last question. Yeah, the missing word in the tweet from Zach Stefan there. Only blank in the tie, but huge. Yeah, well, it is only. It's a well-known saying, isn't it? These 
these sort of two-legged things. I've even used, I've even used it myself, uh, and it's only half time, which is hyphenated. So it can just like, count as one word. Eh? I might have cheated a little bit, but eh? only half time in the tie, but huge, said Mr. Zach Stefan. So there you go. I think it's twenty-four points. Say eh? it's. Uh, there, if, if, if it's not, and you get 25 points, well done you, uh, fantastic, <laughs> well done, you've accomplished something, anything, anything over 10 is probably very good, I mean, I'm, I'm probably struggled to get that myself, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, let, let me know if you did enjoy it, and uh, thanks for joining me, of course, I'll be back with another one of these after the Leeds United games, and the return game against Borussia Dortmund next week, so uh, please join me for that, and obviously check out my little playlist, what's on there at the moment, anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do this today? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Citizen Channel or perhaps you have a flit across. You get a, have a little rest from football. Watch my film and TV channel. All I ever ask of you is please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.